Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about networking, which is a subject that strikes terror into the hearts of many people, but it is a really important thing to do and to know how to do in research work and scholarly work. And really it's just about talking to people, people just like you and me. So it's not as bad as it often can feel. So networking can be done offline or online. At the moment, in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, there's really few opportunities or none here in the UK anyway for offline networking. But under normal circumstances, you might want to do some networking, for example, at a conference or a seminar. This can take a bit of nerve. Uh, you may have to pluck up your courage somewhat. Labels help to some extent. People are often wearing at conferences, often wearing name labels. So you can say, oh, I see you're so-and-so from the such and such a university or company or whatever. Um, that can be a, a useful way to introduce. Um, but one really good tip for networking is to look for someone who is on their own and go and talk to them. Look for someone who looks like they don't have anyone to talk to and go and just chat to them and say, Hello, who are you? Have you come a long way to get here? What's most interesting for you at this conference or this event? Ask questions. Always a good idea to ask questions. If you aim to listen more than you talk, people will think you're really good at networking and it makes it easier for you because if you can just think up a few questions, then the other person's really doing all the work and you might learn some interesting things along the way. If you see someone whose work you admire, maybe one of the speakers at a conference or a seminar or just someone you recognise, if there's a good opportunity to speak to them, then go for it. And again, have some questions ready. Ask them how they got started in their field. Ask them how they did their PhD. If you're a doctoral student, what tips do they have for doctoral students generally? Ask them what they're working on now. That's often a really good question to ask researchers and scholars. What are you working on now? What are you working on that you haven't published yet? Um, people often really like talking about what they're doing at the moment. If someone invites you to chat over coffee, say yes. Don't be scared, don't be nervous, don't be worried. You never know where it may lead. It's only a chat in a public place so you know you're safe. Have a coffee, have a chat, have your questions ready, think up some good questions and bring them with you. I've done lots of these chats over coffee. Some of them have le led to paid work, some have led to writing collaboratively, some have led to nothing more than a nice chat for 20 minutes or half an hour. That's fine, that's the way it goes. Networking online also takes a bit of nerve. If you're networking on social media, I recommend learning the etiquette of the platform you're using before you start making contact with people. I can't go into the etiquette of all the different social media platforms in this talk now because it would take far too long and anyway I don't know them all but I do know that for example the etiquette on Reddit is very different from the etiquette on Instagram and so on. So figure it out by watching what other people do or by doing a bit of investigation online. One thing I will say though really on any platform don't use private messaging unless it's absolutely essential, particularly with people that you don't know well. It's really not helpful. Keep it public, then everyone can learn. Of course, if you want to say something particularly personal, then it's understandable that you would use private messaging. But if you want to ask a question, ask advice, ask for help, ask for ideas, do it in public, then other people can also learn from the exchange. If you're attending a conference online, there may be an opportunity to meet the expert. These are often not highly subscribed, which surprises me because why would you miss that opportunity to have a one-to-one, -one, perhaps 20 minute chat with an expert and pick their brains in a way that will no doubt be very helpful to you. I've done this from both sides. I went to an online conference, the Higher Education Summit in 2020, back in September. And when I got the email with the joining instructions, it said there were these meet the expert sessions and I raced to go online and find out about these experts and sign up to meet as many of them as I could, which was three. And it was really interesting. Then later I was um, speaking, I think, at a conference and I was asked to be an expert in their Meet the Expert panel and 
Um, several people came to meet with me and asked me questions about where they were at with their research and that was interesting too and that was really fine. So if you come across this kind of opportunity and you can, take it up, it's really worthwhile. But otherwise, don't ask for one-to-one -one meetings online except with people you know well. We're all dealing with Zoom fatigue in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic and that may well continue to some extent quite a long time after because I suspect we'll all be doing more work online post-COVID than we were before. So use social media or perhaps email. A lot of people struggle with email because they get so many emails and me too sometimes, but it's better than having to have a one-to-one -one Zoom meeting with someone I don't know well and I don't know what they want and I don't know what it's for and I'm really Zoomed out because I've been on Zoom all day. So social media is, is really best, I think, for networking online, certainly initially. And whether you're networking online or offline, if you have an encounter that doesn't work too well for you, don't be disheartened. Don't let that put you off. It's just one encounter. Figure out what you can learn from that experience and keep going. It may be that all you learn is that you were trying to have an encounter with someone who turned out to be incompatible. Not everybody is lovely. Some people are mean. Maybe you met a mean person. That doesn't mean you're bad at networking. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try again. It doesn't mean anything negative. It just means an encounter didn't work well. Learn what you can and keep on going.